If you grew up playing these video games, then congratulations! You grew up in the golden age of gaming. Welcome to Binge TV, and today we'll be presenting you with our exclusive countdown of the 10 best video games from your childhood. Stay until the end of our video to learn all about these incredible games you most likely grew up playing, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Without further ado, let's begin. 10th place, Need for Speed Underground. We're kicking off today's incredible countdown with one of the best racing games ever created during the time, Need for Speed Underground. Underground was the seventh installment of the Need for Speed franchise being produced for consoles and Windows and the other version for the Game Boy Advance. Underground rebooted the franchise, ignoring the previous Need for Speed games, which featured sports cars and exotics. It was the first game in the series to offer a career mode featuring a storyline and a garage mode that allowed players to fully customize their cars with a large variety of brand name performance and visual upgrades. That's what made it such a compelling game, as you felt like you were in an actual racing universe. The game takes place in a generic city known as Olympic City at night, but it's loosely based on New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. On top of that, the cars here weren't only luxury cars, giving focus to the import scene of vehicles. The game was so successful that it was followed by Need for Speed Underground 2 a year later. Ninth place, Simpsons Hit and Run. In the ninth spot of our list, we have The Simpsons Hit and Run, a 2003 action-adventure game where you take control of the Simpsons family and a Pooh Nahasapima Penelon, who all witness the strange incidents that happen in Springfield. You see security cameras, mysterious vans, crop circles, and a new and improved flavor of the popular soft drink Buzz Cola that causes insanity. Taking matters into their own hands, they discover numerous shocking secrets and soon realize these incidents are part of a larger alien conspiracy caused by Kang and Kodos. The gameplay largely focuses on exploration and missions. Players often race enemies and interact with supporting characters on timed quests. It also has a lot of RPG elements, such as a branching storyline and side tasks. The game was praised for its new direction in The Simpsons games, being mostly compared with a GTA-like game, and it's considered to be the best Simpsons video game today. 8th place, Mario Kart Double Dash. In the 8th spot of our list, we have Mario Kart Double Dash. Double Dash was one of the best racing games to ever grace the GameCube, being released in 2003. Similar to the previous titles, Double Dash challenges Mario series player characters to race against each other on Mario-themed tracks. The game introduced a number of new gameplay features, such as supporting co-op gameplay with two riders per cart. One player drives the cart, and the other uses items. It set itself apart from other games, however, by being the first game in the series to use 3D polygon graphics for the racers, as opposed to sprites. It's also the only game ever made in the history of Mario Kart games to allow cooperative gameplay. It is the second best-selling GameCube game of all time, selling around 7 million copies worldwide, behind Super Smash Bros. Melee. Speaking of which, 7th place, Super Smash Bros. Melee. The Super Smash Bros. series is one of the best things that ever happened to the gaming world. Pioneering the crossover fighting video game format, it was released as the series' second installment following the original Super Smash Bros. game for the GameCube. It featured a wider roster of playable characters, including all playable characters from the first game and also adds characters from franchises such as Fire Emblem, of which no games had been released outside Japan at the time. However, its gameplay made things much different, offering a counter that measures damage with increasing percentages, representing the knockback the character will experience, rather than a depleting health bar seen in most fighting games. This is a trend that set apart the Super Smash Bros. series and has been a staple ever since. 
It was praised for its strong visuals, simple controls, its great soundtrack, and today is considered one of the greatest video games ever made. Sixth place, Halo Combat Evolved. In the sixth spot of our list, we have Halo Combat Evolved. This incredible first-person shooter was developed by Bungie and released as part of the Xbox. Set in the 26th century as most Halo games, the player takes the role of the Master Chief, a cybernetically enhanced super soldier. The Chief is accompanied by Cortana, an artificial intelligence. Players battle various aliens as they attempt to uncover the secrets of the world Halo, a ring-shaped artificial world that never ceases to amaze. The game was so revolutionary that it's been touted as one of the greatest video games of all time, even managing to spawn a multi-billion dollar multimedia franchise for Halo across the years. Few video games can claim to have done something so groundbreaking. Fifth place, Pokemon Platinum. The Pokemon franchise has always launched two versions of pretty much the same game for their major RPGs across the series, with the first installment for the Nintendo DS being Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Well, meet Pokemon Platinum, one of the best-reviewed Pokemon games of all time because of its gameplay in the Sinnoh region. Like in Diamond and Pearl, and pretty much every Pokemon game ever made, players control either a male or female character and start with one of three Pokemon given to them from Professor Rowan. However, the developers weren't playing any games, no pun intended, when designing Platinum, intending it to be the ultimate Pokemon title. Add to that that the mascot's legendary is none other than the badass alternate world Ghost Dragon Pokemon Giratina, actual fire Pokemon in the main story, and some fan-favorite characters such as Looker, and you've got a masterpiece of a Pokemon game. Fourth place, Resident Evil 4. One of Capcom's crown jewels is the Resident Evil series, and among the best games of it is number four, originally released for the GameCube in 2005. In this game, players control U.S. government special agent Leon S. Kennedy, who is sent on a mission to rescue the U.S. president's daughter, Ashley Graham, who has been kidnapped by a cult. In a rural part of Europe, Leon fights hordes of villagers infected by a mind-controlling parasite and reunites with the spy Ada Wong. The game has been so widely praised that it's considered one of the best video games ever made, even snagging a bunch of Game of the Year prizes back in 2005. It was such a hit game that it set the standard for survival horror and third-person genre games. You know a game's good when it manages to change the entire genre just by existing. Third place, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus is a one-of-a-kind game, being considered the spiritual successor to the cult classic Eco. The game's storyline focuses on a young man named Wander, who enters a forbidden land. Wander must travel across a vast expanse on horseback and defeat 16 massive beings, known simply as Colossi, featured in the game's title, in order to restore the life of a girl named Mono. The game is completely barren, having no dungeons, no towns, no major characters, and no other enemies other than the Colossi. One could even argue that more than an action-adventure game, this is just one big fat puzzle game, as each Colossus can only be killed by attacking certain weak points which require specific actions to access. What makes this game so good is the minimalist design, the immersive gameplay, and the emotional journey you get from fighting each of the Colossi. Its soundtrack is also one of the best in the history of gaming. Second place, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One of the OGs of the GTA series is San Andreas, released in 2004 and serving as the seventh title in the series. It was released for the PlayStation 2 and focuses on the story of former gangster Carl C.J. Johnson, who is brought back home by the death of his mother, only to become involved in a long journey that sees him exploring the fictional U.S. state of San Andreas, which is heavily based on California and Nevada. The game references real-life elements of the setting it's based on, such as major cities, regions, landmarks, and even the real-life events that happened in L.A. during the early 1990s. 
IQ real-life street gang fights, emotional missions, and a lot of controversy among critics and parents. First place, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We'll be capping off our list today with none other than The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, probably the most famous Elder Scrolls game other than Skyrim released by Bethesda. The game was released in 2007 and takes place within Cyrodiil, revolving around the player's actions to defeat a fanatical cult known as the Mythic Dawn that plans to open portal gates to a demonic realm known as Oblivion. The game continues the open world tradition of its predecessors by allowing the player to travel anywhere in the game world at any time and to ignore or postpone the main storyline indefinitely. You can literally do anything you want in this game, and it was groundbreaking for its fully voiced NPCs and award-winning music by composer Jeremy Sewell. The game literally redefined the open sandbox and open world action RPG genre completely because of the sheer amount of things you can do here. So what are your thoughts on these incredible childhood games? Which ones of these did you play for yourself? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.